it again, guys. Today I'm doing the TMI Too Much Information tag for the same reason I do everything else. It looks like fun. So here we go. Question one. What are you wearing? Well, I don't know. Something depressing. The black cardigan that I wear all the time. A black tank top. There's a shiny belt around my waist. Black velvet leggings. Question two. Ever been in love? I'm in love right now. <laughs> love is so gross. Ever had a terrible breakup? Had one bad breakup, but it didn't need to be. Unfortunately, that guy was just a dick. How tall are you? I'm five foot seven, which makes me sort of average tall, I think. How much do you weigh? I don't think anyone needs to know that. Hmm. Any tattoos? Yes, I have one tattoo on my back. I have this Jolly Roger. I got it about seven years ago now. And hopefully this year, well, as soon as I can afford it, I've got plans for other tattoos. I'm going to get two tarot cards, the death card and the lovers, probably on my legs. Any piercings? I realized recently that I've been pierced 17 times now, so yes. Probably my most interesting piercings are these ones, though they don't look all that good at the moment. And this one's just lost its top, unfortunately. These are dermal anchors. I have my left ear stretched to 8mm, and I have a horizontal lobe piercing. In this ear I have an industrial and this lobe is stretched to 10mm. I actually have three lip piercings, but the bar for the middle one has fallen out and I haven't put it back in yet. And I also have two nipple piercings, which for obvious reasons I'm not going to show you. OTP which I think stands for one true pair, and I think that means who's a really good couple. So I'm gonna say the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Really, it took me three goes to watch Catherine Middleton walking down the aisle because I kept bursting into tears. It was such a beautiful occasion. Favorite show? I love Black Books, Black Adder, Faulty Towers, Father Ted, QI, definitely. I'm a big fan of BBC comedies and things like that, I suppose. Favourite bands? Really? I don't... Oh, I've got so many! I wouldn't... I couldn't really pick a favourite. But I have been listening a lot lately to a band called Violet Stigmata. Oh my goodness. They're just so good. I like The Sisters of Mercy, Susie and the Banshee, London After Midnight, Suspiria, The Wake. Don't make me choose. Something you miss. I miss Edinburgh, Scotland. I miss everything about Edinburgh. Especially all the friends I made there. Hi, oh God. Favourite song? Oh no, that's just getting specific. I like so many songs, I could never pick a favourite, but I've, I guess I always sort of, I've always loved Cold from Static X. I don't really know why. That will forever be one of my favourite songs. How old are you? I'm 27 years old. Zodiac sign, Pisces. I'm a fish. Quality you look for in a partner? A smart brain and someone who does the things that they say they're going to do. Someone who's a doer. My Mr. Owl has a very smart brain. He is much, much smarter than me. Favourite quote? There are a lot of quotes I like. I've always been a big fan of consistency is the last refuge of the unimaginative. Favourite actor? Probably Johnny Depp because he's in all the films that are my favourites. Favourite colour? Black! Black. And for those of you who are going to be all like, black's not a colour! I don't know. Red. I like red. Loud music or soft? It really depends on the music. When I'm by myself listening to the music I like, I'll play it loudly. If it's my next door neighbours playing their music that they like, I would rather they played it softly. Where do you go when you're sad? To the supermarket to buy junk food. How long does it take you to shower? I've actually timed this so I know. Five minutes. But if I'm doing my hair, it will take me a lot longer. Maybe 40 minutes. As you can imagine, there's a lot of product in there. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? I get asked this quite frequently. About two hours. I don't like to rush. Ever been in a physical fight? I sure have. I once took on six big Maori gang dudes by myself. I was drunk and they were beating up my flatmate. I got my ass handed to me. And there was this other time <laughs> when my best friend at the time was sitting in the back seat of my car with the door open. There was a dude uh, with him and they were just chatting and this other dude just smacked him in the face. And there was just blood everywhere, so I just pulled this guy away from the car and, and I just got stuck into him. Doof. And he didn't really know what to do, he was really shocked. Eventually he pushed me back and everyone was like, Whoa man, whoa, leave her alone. I had one person on each arm holding me back. Those incidents were both, like, they were both about nine years ago. Fighting is not a thing I generally partake of, nor is it a thing I encourage. But sometimes, you know, when the situation demands it, needs must, I just felt the need to defend my friends who I could see were being hurt. 
turn on a nice smile. I love Mr. Owl's smile. Turn off the door hats. The reason I joined YouTube. Well, more than one reason. One, I've got a $16,000 film and television production qualification, which I don't really get to use. Also, I'm stuck in a small island country. I love to travel and I love being in other parts of the world. So the YouTube community makes me feel like I'm other places. It means I can talk to people all over the world with similar interests. I, I kind of feel like I'm everywhere at once. Also, because I'm very, very shy. And I thought it might help me overcome my shyness. Fears. Would you like the list chronologically or alphabetically? Yeah, nah, let's not go there, eh? Last thing that made you cry. It was an ad on TV that I saw the other day. It was a very sad advert and it made me cry. I cry at the drop of a hat though. I cry all the time. Last time you said you loved someone. Just a few minutes ago, I think. Hmm. Meaning behind your YouTube name. Well, every day of the week has a corresponding god or heavenly body such as sunday sunday monday moonday tuesday tuesday wednesday wednesday thursday thursday and and friday is my name and i like black so it just seemed obvious i don't particularly like it it just seemed an obvious choice really the last book you read i read dirk gently's holistic detective agency for the third time well, I say read, I mean I listened to it. I always listen to books as audiobooks. One, because I read very, very slowly and it's actually quicker to have something read to me. The other reason is I can do other things while I'm listening to it. The book you're currently reading, I'm not reading anything at the moment, but I'm going to start on one of the, the Neil Gaiman audiobooks I have. Pretty soon, the last show you watched. Ugh. Come on, I can remember, I can remember last night. I can remember less than 24 hours. I feel like it might have actually been something like The Bethany Show or some sort of daytime TV talk show. The last person you talked to, well that would be Mr. Al because we live together and he's in the next room. Yeah, he was the last person I spoke to. The relationship between you and the last person you texted. Let's check my phone. Actually, I was giving something away. I was giving something away for free through Free Cycle, so it was just a chap I don't know who came over to um, pick something up for my house. So, no relationship as far as I know that he now has my old futon. <laughs> Favourite food. Bacon butty. Place you want to visit. At the moment, I'm really hell-bent on visiting America. I really... The more I think about it, the more I want to go. I just really want to visit America. I've been around the world, more or less, by myself. I've been to lots of wonderful different countries, and there are lots of places I would like to go back to. Most of all, I want to visit America. Last place you were. Well, if you mean travel-wise, I guess. I went down south to Dunedin a couple of months ago, but the last country I was in apart from this one would have been the United Kingdom. That was freaking ages ago now, it feels like. Do you have a crush? No. Last time you kissed someone. Yeah, I don't know, that was a few minutes ago as well. Last time you were insulted. I actually can't remember the last time I was insulted. I really expected that when I got onto YouTube that people would be insulting me and trolling me constantly. I've actually not had a single nasty or insulting comment yet. Not one, and I'm amazed. You know, I don't expect it to keep up. <laughs> it would be very nice if it did. Favourite flavour of sweet? I like sour grape flavour. Maybe sour cherry? Blueberry? I like sour sweets. Sour sweets sounds like an oxymoron, doesn't it? What instruments do you play? I play drums, and considering I started learning to play drums 11 years ago, you'd think that I'd be really good at it by now, but I'm not. About 16 months ago, I started teaching myself to play piano, and actually I, I picked that up a lot faster than I thought I would, and I've really enjoyed playing piano. Favourite piece of jewellery? Ah. Oh. I've got so much jewellery! Did you see the pictures I put on my blog? And that was only some of it. But I've been doing a lot of I can't pick favourites in this video so I should at least try. I sort of thought that maybe it could be this brooch that I got to wear on my wedding dress. It's very beautiful and it's got little skulls dangling from it as you can see. I'm very fond of this actually. It's not technically mine but I wear it quite often and I bought it for um, him and it's an owl skull. It's pretty cool. I guess what I should say is that my favourite piece of jewellery is my engagement ring, which as you can see has a little skull on either side of this black spinel stone. Gosh, it's, it's so cool. 
Next question. Last sport you played? I do not play sports, <laughs> but I was a figure skater. So I think the last thing I did was I went ice skating like two months ago. There isn't an ice skating rink here, so I had to do it while I was away on holiday. Last song you sang? <laughs> it was actually earlier on. I was having a bit of a sing and a dance in the kitchen um, to Ace of Base, the sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Favorite chat up line? I don't have one. Chat up lines are stupid. Have you ever used it? Pfft. Last time you hung out with anyone? It has been a very social week, so I haven't really hung out with any friends, I suppose, since maybe band practice last week. I guess I was hanging out with my band. Who should answer these questions next? You can if you like. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Whew, there we go, and 50 questions later. I'm feeling a little bit worn out. Well, that's about it for me with my too much information tag. How about you tell me an interesting fact about you in the comments down below. That'd be fun. And I will look forward to reading them. So, yes, thank you very, thank you very, very much for watching. And please subscribe to my channel. I'll put out two new videos every week. Thank you. Be nice to each other. And I'll see you next time.